Hi loves, I wanted to show you all how I got this versatile um, sew-in with a closure. Um, this hair is from Exclusive Blend here in Beauty. Um, so if you guys want to see how I get this look, just keep watching. So the closure is a silk based closure. It looks just like this. It comes with baby hairs. It's very, very, very nice, very soft. Um, this is the Malaysian hair. The closure is 16 inches and the um, bundles are 18 inches. Um, I did have to customize it and cut it to uh, match my shave sides. So this is my leave out right here and the back is just braided in the circle. And the front is braided um, straight back. So I just sewed the braids all down together and I placed a netted cap over my hair so that my sewing can lay flat. So this is the closure after I have altered it and cut it to my liking. And I'm just going to measure it. Um, you want it to, I wanted to cut it a little bit smaller so I can have a little bit more even tension on both sides. So the way that I did it, I took one needle and I placed it underneath the braid and then I placed it underneath the closure. And then I just went through the thread like that and created a knot. And I placed the thread around my ear to um, hold it in place while I get my other needle to go on the other side. The method that I use is I went back and forth with both needles. So I sewed a little bit on one side and then I went over to the other side and sewed a little bit on the other side so I can have a little, I can have even tension. I'm not really the best with closures. I prefer not to use them because it requires so much to do like gluing, especially when it comes to um, me having shaved sides and I don't want a full head. Of hair so um, it's a little bit more difficult when you have shave size to have a closure but this is just how I did it um, I might come up with something a little bit later after the fact um, I get a little bit more you know um, get a little bit more of a fill with closures so like I said I just went back and forth until I reached the back of the closure now this is the back of my head I'm just gonna place one track underneath the um, the netted cap so that when I lift my hair up and put it in a ponytail that it's a lot more versatile and you can't see the um, tracks. So I'm just basically going um, to sew through the closure, I mean through the um, track once and then I just continue to sew um, underneath the netted cap and I sew closely together so that um, it's seamless when I put my hair up. Now I am just going to double my tracks, um, meaning I'm going to sew two tracks at a time. I went through the, um, the hair just like I did the first time, and I'm just going to sew like normally. Um, every time you start a new track, you want to sew through the hair, and every time you end the track, you want to sew through the hair. Um, and then you can just continue to um, sew underneath the tracks. Um, as you start and end if you guys can understand what I'm saying um, you don't have to sew through the hair through the whole track if you get what I'm saying and don't worry about if some of the hair gets caught into the thread you can just comb it out and it'll come out perfectly fine so I doubled all of my tracks up until the closure I do not have any single tracks in my head besides the one the very first one that I sewed underneath the cap and you want to make sure that you do double your wefts because like I said, it's gonna have more of a um, thicker feel for it. So just like the back, I am going on the very um, sides um, of my hair and I'm gonna sew one track underneath the, um, underneath the cap so that when I pin my hair up, it's a lot more seamless. And I know it looks a little bit messy, but I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying. So this is how the hair looks afterwards. I'm going to comb the closure out.
and you can part it any type of way that you like. I'm just going to do a simple middle part. And now I'm just going to straighten my leave out. I use the Dew Drops Share, um, Shine Therapy Elixir. I did a whole review on these products already. I will link that video down below. This is a heat protectant as well. I'm going to use the Ultra Hole Walker um, tape glue um, and I'm going to place it right where the closure is to go. And um, you want to make sure that it's a little bit tacky before you start to lay down your closure. Now I'm just going to press the closure down onto the glue. Make sure you don't get any hair stuck into the glue like I did. Um, but you can just comb it out. Um, and then you're going to wrap your hair with a scarf for about 30 minutes to an hour to assure the closure it lays down flat. Now, um, in the second part, like I said, the hair color is different, but um, it's still the closure in my hair. So this is how the um, hair came out. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to check out part two so you guys can see how to do versatile sew-ins with this closure. I'll see you guys later. Bye.